Morning folks, well I, have, I haven't adjusted the camera at all, it's very dull and rainy today, <coughs> we haven't had much rain, well for a week, a couple of weeks, so it's very welcome, so uh, I'm going to leave this um, with, with the, I would imagine factory settings, this is my original camcorder that my daughter gave me, but I only used it three or four times. And I've ordered uh, another one on uh, on YouTube. It's a cheap Chinese video camera. I don't suppose it'll be much good. The last one I tried wasn't. But uh, it's got quite a high spec, so we'll wait and see when that, that arrives. Uh, but a bit of a bonus, really. Uh, I, I downloaded Handbrake because this camera records MOV file and Windows doesn't recognise, well it recognises right, it will play the volume but it won't play the uh, the video, the actual film. So I downloaded Handbrake again in anticipation of uh, having to compress the videos for this but then when you open up the, uh, uh, the, the, the control panel for uh, choosing Windows Movie Maker, Editor, blah blah blah. Uh, there's another edition. It's uh, Microsoft have added what they call a codec. I don't have, have a clue what that jargon is, but it downloads quite happily. Just go on OneDrive, and it's there. I can just click it, and in about 10-15 seconds, it's downloaded the video onto OneDrive, and then I from there I can post it to YouTube straight away. Oh dear, what a, what, a, what a blessing that is. So I don't have to compress the files at all, it's all done. So good old Microsoft, you've actually done something. Uh, right now, so I've not adjusted the light, I've not, it's very dull in here. I've tried the, with the, uh, the overhead spotlights, but it's, it's too, probably be too bright. But the screen I'm looking at is uh, pretty good. So we've got some cadmium red, ultramarine, we've got some burnt sienna from yesterday, some paint spray, cadmium yellow pale and some yellow ochre. My basic palette, and before I get my basic palette all over my trousers, my jeans, I'll have to put my pinny on. Uh, so here we go. Oh. Us blokes don't get a lot of practice putting pinafores on. So yeah, and this you have to put it on and tie it at the back. And I've got it caught up with my hoodie. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, right. Okay. We sorted. Got a bit of uh, oil uh, brushes. Now somebody was uh, commenting on my. Uh, River mould yesterday so that they the, the, making greens is is, a, is they find very difficult well it is difficult at the beginning especially when you use green and then try to modify it uh, but um, the greens that I'm making are done for me from the cadmium red ultramarine and the yellow three primaries strengthen up the yellow then you've got a a lighter colour, you can add a bit of burnt, a bit of yellow ochre to it, or you can have a shortcut and use the Payne's grey, which is very, very useful. And I just add a little bit more when I find it. Uh, where's my Payne's grey? Come on, Payne's grey. Uh, oh, I've lost me. Oh dear. Well, I had a lost there. I put it down somewhere. Oh, here it is, with, with all my brushes. As you know, I work in qu quite a mess. So let's just bend that. Oh. Right. Just, just a touch more. I won't uh, use a lot of that. Oh, you can just about see that on the palette. I, I hope you like my setup. Uh, I've tried using my, my adjacent. Uh, Tripod with the with my palette bouncing, but this this is okay. This is fine. I could even just move that over a little bit. Well, I I could, but these these are 
clips, these crocodile clips, are actually ferocious to use one hand. They're very, very good. Uh, but if I... Let's try, get that over a bit further, then it'll balance a bit. Uh, yeah, there we are. So we've got a, got a good setup. Uh, right, so uh, we'll do, we'll do a, 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 a tree scene, but we'll have a, a large sky, but just a small horizon, maybe a little bit of background. Uh, we'll have a bit of a meadowy thing here and And a smaller one here. Maybe I'll add a bit of uh, filigree to the trees and some blue ones across here. Uh, it's a pond. Pond there, that's, that's about right. Okay, brushes. Well, I'm going to use. Um, I don't like that one, it's a short flat. I, I couldn't. Got the long flat at the time from the range, and they, so they were selling them, and they stopped. They cancelled their lovely art department part of the suit of the general store. Huge, huge! But they sold a corner off to Iceland. Well, I like Iceland. That's the freezer people we use it a lot, uh, and uh, they sacrificed the art department, which was an absolute shame. So I try to buy as much as I can online now. They were, they were selling everything I would buy. Oh, their loss. So I hope someone in uh, high up in uh, the range actually listens to this because you've uh, lost a trick there. So I brushes. So let's a uh, bit of oil. So let's just start. Um, a nice overcast sort of sky, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of ochre, a lump of white. Just don't worry about trying to do a perfect cloud to start with. Just put some paint on the can on the board, canvas, whatever you're using. This is 3mm MDF. I like it because it's cheap, it's light and tough. And it's a great support. Get some uh, grey in there. No, no, just just whack away. You can change change it very quickly if you, if you don't like it. But just build up the build up a surface of the colour. I get these get the greys in. Payne's grey. It's got a blue tinge, which is very nice. Oh, I'll give you a bit of advice with frame. Now, I'm sure you know this. When you're using oil painting, you put it in a frame to. Uh, to display it. Uh, what I what I do with my frames that are, that um, are they've got pictures in with wet paint, you can probably see here, there, it's tiny the uh, in one inch veneer pins, a couple banged in there, a couple banged in the, there. Bigger frame, add some more, and just bang them in straight and then bend them over so that the, the heads don't show but what they do is when you put your picture your finished work in the frame it doesn't stick to the insides of the frame well mostly unless you've got thick paints at the edge but the pins just hold the, the painting off of the frame okay just a little tip all right where's my brush what am i using this one uh, Right, let's go get some bit of darker paints grey. But with white, let's get to uh, uh, 
I'm going to just clean with brush. I'm going to put that background uh, head in. So basically, paints grey with, with white, of course. You can add a little bit of ultramarine to it. Just give it that blue, blue tint. tint. There we go. Okay, that's just that just reminds us where where we're going on that. Okay, very thin. I'm just going on thin here. I I just adore the oil painting. I sometimes <laughs> wish that all watercolors hadn't been invented. I do like watercolors, but I soon run out of enthusiasm after doing four or five for YouTube or Patreon. But this is where my heart lies. Bit of oil. Oh, we, we'll get some uh, some movement in the sky. It's a bit, a bit of ochre. Okay, nice and light. I'm not bothered about going over my pens, my my pens. Now you could use a bit of impasto. Bit of paint's grey now. What that light on the horizon? Mm. Okay, we'll uh, just brighten that up along here. Go back and get that blue uh, horizon. Okay. Uh, I need to just put it just a little bit more impasto on that. Uh, One of those streaky skies, I do like painting them. Just two colours and now with white added. Right now we're going to do those uh, I just wonder if I've got a, a softer brush that I can use for the trees. Uh, oops, lost the brush on the floor.
No, I'll, I'll use what I've got. I'll, I'll, use the, I'll use the same brush. I will use a rigger later. How are we doing? Okay. Right. Uh, green. Oh, there we go. Red, blue, yellow. Now, there's a green. Oh. Oh, we've got a bit of dark in here and there, just the shadow. Okay, there's, there's one green tree. You can make it as green or as, you can add a bit of Payne's grey. Which I will. Let's see what green we get with that. Should really add the add the black or the paint spray to the yellow rather than yellow to the black. So it's a, 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 a funny thing, but if you just keep adding uh, that colour to the grey, it will stay yellow. If you put the grey into there, it will go yellow. So it's a I don't know why what happens, so we'll just have this one here. Well, oh, there's another green. It's, I like that green, so that's a paint's grey. I could put some light back in that tree. Let's uh, clean the brush. Add some light. Right now, I'm going to put in a like a sort of a meadow in there, but let's just put some darker green. some blue in that. Blue, white, paint's grey. Well, just add a little bit of a yellow here or there on the darker green, just to get some counter change. Right, now, I've got that dark there so that I can superimpose a meadow. My favourite sort of scene really. Going up a little bit there. Let's get some of that darker green in here, I think.
Right, let's uh, get my little brush. This one here, this is one of 15 brushes I bought in a pack of cheapo bristles at uh, Hobbycraft. Oh, look, after a while they start to break, as, but you get this lovely brush for stippling. Okay, so a bit of oil, and we'll go with a bit, bit of yellow, bit of white, nice and loose, bit of white, bit of yellow. Uh, right, let's go on the blue and the red. That bit paints grey. I was going to put a point in there, but I? Well, I forgot. Whoops, the oil is getting a bit. Uh... This reminds me of the bike ride this morning. I should be on, but it's far too bad. Get that dark with the foreground. Now we've got some dark green, I think. Uh, so I'm making this up as I'm going along. Sort of grasses. I think what I'm going to do is bring that tree down into that. Got a little. Uh, uh, mm, I'll use this little worn out sable or whatever it was. Probably wasn't sable. Uh, trees generally are green, green leaf, uh, green trunks. Uh, I'll get a rigger. I should use this rigger, it's my watercolour rigger, but so. There's a bit of bit of yellow on there. Oh. 
Okay, so just put in a Now I need a bit more dark in that foreground so let's uh, get the grey, bit of oil. Right, get the rigger. Get some some light colour. Okay, well that's all I'm going to do with that one. Uh, I'll unclip my evergreen palette and put this in a frame. I can't I can't stop and pause you. This camera won't do it, but my next camera will, I hope. Right, so bear with me while I go and tack this in the back. Well, there's a thing. I haven't cut this board small enough. Oh. Hold on, I'll uh, what was this? How do I do that? I'm going to take a quarter village off of that, so right, I'll uh, I've got a ruler here, I've got one there, I'll just work my way through the MDF. Talk among yourselves. Yeah, a few, few moments. I hope you can hear that. some of that uh, MDF shavings on the front of the picture. That's, uh, no, that's okay. Well, I don't even have to nail that. So there we are. A very simple meadow scene with, with greens. I, I, I take it for granted the, the greens and I know how difficult I, I found it in the beginning. So I, I just added more colours. Well, more colours just makes more confusion. I stick to my five, my six colours and but only rarely would I add another another one. I would like to change my red to a lighter red uh, or have two reds on the palette mainly because the cadmium red goes very mauvey with the ultramarine in the skies. But that sky, that's the sort of sky I really like. It's got a background, but it's got the sky that, well, I, I'm looking up now, it's just a, a uniform grey. But when you get the grey with the lighter clouds, I just love painting those, rather than big blue skies and big fluffy, fluffy clouds, which I do as well. So I hope you like that one, folks. It is a demo. Uh, let me know what you think, and let me know what you think of the picture quality of this. It would be appreciated. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.